Hi, I'm Ouchie, and I'm a pretty typical strategy wargamer, really. I've been playing these sort of games for more years than I care to admit, but in recent years I've been watching more and more gamers on YouTube and uh, appreciating what they go through when they're going through it. And instead of just watching, I thought I'd record elements of a campaign uh, on the hardest settings, but I'll go through that later. Pop it on YouTube and see if anybody else gets as much amusement out of watching it as I do out of playing it, really. So, as for the game, fairly obvious, it's Empire Total War. Specifically, I'm on the Darth Mod 8.0.1 Platinum. Um, I've got some of, but not all of, the AUM, the additional unit mod. Units, obviously, um, in here. Uh, and on this particular campaign, I'm set up for four turns a year. So, although we're looking at, on the bottom right, 1710, that puts this in terms of turns in the low 40s somewhere. This is summer, so probably 42-ish. Uh, let's have a quick scout through. So we've got mm. William III, still the king, although I think he's getting a bit old now, so we'll probably snuff it and go go the way of his ancestors soon. It's taken me quite a while to get the income up to this level because I'm playing on the hardest campaign and hardest battle settings. It's taken me a long time, as you'll see in a minute, to, to get the trade and the income up to this level so it's fairly consistent. The only difficulty, one of the difficulties I'm having with trade at the minute is I trade with Sweden and Prussia and they're at war with each other, which is really helpful. Um, so on occasions when they blockade each other's ports, suddenly I'm quite a lot, <laughs> about 40,000 a turn out of pocket. So as you can see, I'm a bit a bit wobbly at the minute. I've got, what have I got? I've got just over 100, 110,000 in funds available, but um, that's going up and down wildly at the moment. So my Navy and Army fairly big I'm, um, I've, I've been very deliberately and very specifically growing but anyway let's just have a quick whip through so what I've been doing I'll start with the trade what I've been doing so far is um, all of the trade reasons I've got three or four of the trade ports so I'm getting a fair amount of trade I've got control over those Ivory Coast is the same I could go through them all but they're all pretty much the same uh, the Americas haven't done much we started with um, a province up here but being on the very hard, this one, Rupert's Land, being on the very hard difficulty, I lost that fairly quickly because I was overwhelmed, so I just withdrew the garrison. And when, as usual, when you're Britain, France declare war on you pretty quickly, they had the Windward Islands, so I captured that. The pirates, Trinidad and Tobago, Leeward Islands, and later Caraco, curiously, um, also fell. So Spain declared war not long after the French, as they do, so I took those two eventually. And basically I've just got one... I, I call these army stacks brigades, just my way of personalising things. But I've got one, it, about two-thirds strength brigade in this part of the world. That's it. Um, I've just set it up for defence. I've got a militia, cheapest unit I can find in each of the ports. So the theory being, so far it's worked twice. Um, if somebody uh, tries to conquer one of them, they can't land in the port and reach the city of that particular island in one go. So they land in the port and sit there, and it gives me time to respond, get my guys into the, uh, the the town of that region that's under attack and defend it. So far, touch wood. Haven't lost any and I've um, repelled two attempts at invasion. So yeah, America, I'm not doing much there at the moment um, because Europe, I've ended up with control of the entire western seaboard and North Africa. That was really originally to protect the trade routes because I was having a lot of trouble keeping them intact. And again, because it's on the hardest setting, <laughs> it does throw everything, including the kitchen sink at you. So after I took Morocco was the first one we took, um, France declared war, we, I started fighting in France, Spain followed, Portugal curiously followed as well because they were allied with Spain, normally the Portuguese are my allies when I play Britain but there you go. So yeah anyway we ended up eventually capturing the whole of the western coast of Europe, uh, including Flanders, I think that was Spanish from memory, and this was the last of the French outposts, the Alsace-Lorraine area. Um, Prussia I was at war with, but we're sort of friendly-ish with them now. So have a little look, see what the condition's like. Oh, very friendly, very nice of them. Plus 81, marvellous. Um, so yeah, they're okay, and this is one of those campaigns where Prussia are having a good run. So they control the whole of Central and Eastern Europe. Um, not at war with many for a change, which is kind of strange. You'd expect more for the, the hardest one, but there you go. Um, so yeah, that's Europe. Uh, my plan here really is, because this part of... Uh, here we go, Central Europe as it were and Northern Europe is secure for the moment my plan is to sweep down into this the Italian peninsula if you like uh, 
take on these islands, capture this, and I find myself looking at the Adriatic at some point. I've got a, a couple of brigades that I'll come to later as I'm playing down here, but I, I name, I mentioned earlier on my brigade, so for example, oh yeah, this is my newest one, the Guards Brigade. I'm uh, going to replace those two, so I should be able to recruit the Cold Streamers soon, so... Uh, what's this one? Yes. For example, this is oh, the third, the third brigade. Um, I've reorganised them recently, so I've sort of made them geographical brigades. Try and group some of the uh, regiments I've recruited so far. But as I say, I'll come back to that. India is where I've been putting most of my effort in uh, because we started with Bengal up here on the top right. France were there; they declared war, so I fought them, killed their army, took that over. As soon as I did that, the the Mughals, the Mughal Empire who were up here uh, just started attacking so because I started fighting them I took this this what this be the eastern seaboard then I started pushing up Mysore declared war obviously because I became a neighbor that was Portuguese so I've just and by the time I reached about this line here I'd pretty much destroyed the Mughal Empire so I just kept going didn't intend to but um, I just kept going I've been working with two or three brigades army stacks if you like but I call them brigades up here and we're at the point now where we're um, fairly secure really my intention is to get to a line on this river which runs all the way across the top here in reaching that I should finish off the Mughal Empire um, which will leave me facing the Persians presumably they're going to declare war on me as soon as my borders touch theirs because that's what seems to happen with this setting um, but if I do if they do I've got some uh, rather nice um, experience and can I say veteran brigades in this part of the world now I'm just moving this the second the Queen's Brigade down because um, we need to capture Candy all the way down here Ceylon this used to be Portuguese from all the United Provinces I think but before they were taken out of the game by the Prussians but um, is there anything else yeah I think that's probably it really that's the summary oh yeah research I'm just plowing through the research focusing on military and income as much as I can and uh, I think that's about as much as it's worth saying for in terms of the introduction so I'll close this section off and get on with the game see you in a bit